For many people, it's been a very slow recognition that the Earth is not limitless. One geology um, will make information available to the world. It affects our health, it affects our welfare, it affects our education and our leisure. One planet, one concern, its future, and one big idea. Mapping the geology of the whole Earth in one place, with one standard, for one audience, everybody. This is One Geology. Brighton, England, March 2007. Big smiles. A gathering of some of the finest geological minds in the world from all over the planet. My name is Yujiro Fusejima, came from Japan. Uh, I'm Leslie Wyborn, I'm from Geoscience Australia. Hello, my name is Evgeny, I'm from Russia. Uh, hello, my name is Natalia Mesqua and I am from the Geological Survey of Mexico. Felix Toto, I'm from Cameroon. <clears throat> Well, we are here to talk about a topic for which we have an intense passion. They've Many come to discuss an idea which could change the way every single one of them works. Maps. Geology explains Earth system linkages, climate processes, carbon sources, and carbon sinks. It's the concept behind one geology. No one knows better than geologists how national boundaries conflict with the basic tenets of their science. How a detailed knowledge of your neighbor's geology could help you understand yours better. And how yours could help them. It's One Geology's aim to break down those barriers, to see the nations of the Earth pool their geological mapping into one giant map, one to one million scale, available worldwide, 24 hours a day, on the web. Ian Jackson from the British Geological Survey believes it's an idea whose time has come. The reaction from people here seems to have been completely supportive. Everybody's saying, this is the right time, we're ready to do it. There are no technological barriers. We are really ready to go and we want to make this happen. Let's just say that one nation is abstracting and taking out groundwater through a borehole and another nation has a landfill site adjacent to that particular borehole but on the other side of a political boundary. It's entirely possible that one is polluting the other's water supply. That's a very simple explanation. But the key thing is that geology is continuous and we need to try and share our information between nations to make sure we have the best possible understanding of the geological structure because it affects our health, it affects our welfare, it affects our education and our leisure. And all around the Brighton event, a global consensus is emerging. We have a good chance uh, to have a uh, unified um, language, a unified map and a uni unified uh, geological space worldwide. It is of tremendous advantage to us. Um, we would also like the international community to know about the whereabouts of Sierra Leone, and the resources we have, the potential we have, etc. We also like to exchange information we also like the world to know about Sierra Leone, besides what they are looking for in Sierra Leone. Um, one geology um, will make information available to the world and would also like to contribute to that availability. I think it is a wonderful to have this kind of combination of geological database and start to build one geology which everybody can benefit from this, uh, from this map. 
surely you have all of a sudden cross-boundary information on groundwater, um, on information you need for building infrastructures, um, on environmental issues, perhaps even on mining and e economic issues, and you can make use of this and then go into the sources where you know, okay, this piece of France or China or whatever is only mapped in one to one million, but I want to know more about it. This looks as if there could be something interesting for me in it, for politicians or also environmentalists. This is, a, I think, a very positive move forward to bring together a, a global data set that um, we can use and also encourages you know, the geoscientists of the future to use. Rio Tinto employs, tries to attract the best geologists and if we can't give them good data we really are, are struggling. Our nations require geological mapping and they need that mapping in a format that is ready to use and that means web accessible. Because learning a little bit about geology has changed my whole outlook towards biology. I've come Outside geology, too, support is long. growing. Me, Distinguished biologist Professor Aubrey Manning is a guest together. speaker. Biology and the earth sciences should be taught as a single subject, it seems to me, up till quite an advanced level. He's also a goodwill ambassador for the International Year of Planet Earth, the United Nations-backed programme to showcase, celebrate and advance the earth sciences. One geology is a vital part of the project. This is our common home. This is the planet earth on which we live. It's the only place we've got and we better use it wisely. And these geologists are going to help us to do that. I think this is an inspirational thing and it will have scientific spin-offs beyond the, simply the map, I think. I mean, International Year of Planet Earth has got 10 themes concerning such things as groundwater, soils, uh, resources. Now the map will be able to feed into each one of those themes. Science uh, is, is a great unifier. Four days in Brighton, and at the end, no one's in any doubt, there's a lot of work still to be done. But this is only the beginning, and delegates have a message for the rest of the world. People who are now not participating in this workshop, maybe we can do something, we can introduce to them this, uh, this project or let them know about it at least. Get involved. If I wanted to sum up why, why we're doing this, first of all, geology is relevant. Geology is like the history book of the Earth, and we're suddenly seeing initiatives like climate change that need to know what happened in the past. Secondly, we want to make available and make accessible the geological data that exists in geological surveys around the world. Get involved. Thirdly, we want to be able to transfer know-how and share experience and understanding around the world. We need to have a worldwide geological information system and a geological language. And fourthly, we want to be able to speak in a common language about that geological data that's in computers and be able to share and integrate and make interoperable our data. Those are the reasons why we're doing this. When I return to the US, I will immediately be in, be in meetings with my fellow state geologists and with the government of the US on how promising this meeting has been. Please join in. To be a part of a global geological community of data sharing, of knowledge sharing, of being a part of this exciting project. So I would recommend to join us.